What's up ladies and gents, this is Casey Kid coming at you with another Destiny video. Today we're doing the Nightfall, we're going to do the Nightfall, we're going to have some fun, we're going to get some loot, and we're going to show you what it's all about. So I know it's Iron Banner week, most of you are going to be playing PvP all week, but if you happen to need a break and you need to go into the Nightfall just to kind of cool off a little bit after an extremely frustrating Iron Banner match, the Nightfall isn't that bad this week. And we are definitely going to have a little bit of fun with it. We're actually rocking out this Nightfall with the No Time to Explain. This is probably the first time that I'm using the No Time to Explain on this channel, period. And I don't know why I decided to do it. It's basically small arms this week. So whenever I was sitting back and I was thinking, what can I do to have some fun with the Nightfall? I decided, you know what, let's go ahead and put on the No Time to Explain. Mainly because... I figured that it might be a decent weapon to go ahead and use on Malak at the end. Because you've got some pretty long sight lines and you have some time where you can just sit back and go ahead and hit his head, hit his critical spot over and over and over again. In the no time to explain would be receiving its damage buff while your special and heavy weapons will take a damage nerf in this nightfall because of small arms being on. And it wasn't that bad. So whenever I was specking out the no time to explain, first thing I noticed was that it had Headseeker on. I don't recall it having that before, it might have, it was just something that took me back, I was like, wait a second, did this always have Headseeker on it? And also, whenever I was specking it out, I was specking it out for the various range perks that it could have on, because I figured, again, I was going to be shooting him from probably back here, and all the extra range was going to be a good thing. And I don't think it was a really bad idea, because whenever I was then comparing it as far as its range and stability goes to the Outbreak Prime, it was holding up pretty favorably with actually a pretty massive range boost over the Outbreak Prime. I might even take this into PvP at some point, just because it was a lot of fun. Even though the archetype it's really not suited for PvP, it might be able to be okay. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. We might do it. Who knows? That might be a video coming in the future. We'll have to we'll have to wait and see. And even though I felt like the Hawk Moon might be a little bit of a better choice early on in this. Once I did start getting the hang of things, I felt quite fine, and I think in this final battle, this is probably a better choice than the Hawkmoon, because with those extra range perks, I felt like I was at a good spot here at the back of the room with the range perks on the no time to explain, whereas the Hawkmoon, if I was using that, that would probably suffer some damage fall off and probably wouldn't have been as good of a choice, even if the Hawkmoon might have been a better option at some points early on. Now we've been talking about small arms being a modifier, we also have two others that are going to affect your gameplay, one of those being Berserk, so the enemies pretty much aren't going to be flinching, and they'll keep coming after you no matter what you're shooting them with. And that coupled with match game means that you better have some like elements as far as being able to take down enemy shields. For me, what I noticed very early on was I wanted a solar heavy weapon, so I went ahead and put on my solar heavy machine gun. That worked out really well for the various blinding captains and some of the Taken Knights that were running around. And then I have a Void Sniper Rifle, which was good for the Taken Wizards that were floating around. So I didn't really find a need to have anything arc related. There were some arc enemies in the game, but anything that was arc seemed like it was pretty much easy to go ahead and just avoid that one, run past it. So I don't think you're going to need anything arc. Solar Heavy, Void Special, that's going to work out as far as what I did, as far as my three runs in the Nightfall this week. You might find it different, but for me, Solar and Void worked out really, really well. Now again, on this battle, everybody pretty much sits back in this room, everybody shoots Malak from this room, it gets really crazy in this room. A lot of times people don't go ahead and shoot down those orbs. I like to shoot down the orbs because they give you extra mobility. If not, you end up getting stuck in the mud and you can't use any of your special abilities like double jumping or regening or anything really good at all. And also, whenever you're shooting at Malak and getting him down in his health, he starts spawning out enemies behind you. And be very, very wary of when those enemies come in, those enemies and those orbs, because if not, things can go from good to bad in a hurry.
No, really, that that was a good time. <laughs> that was a good time. We, we totally wanted to do that over and over again. Yeah, you gotta watch out when those enemies come in. Those shielded enemies behind you, they can give you a bad day really quickly. Luckily, I was able to survive, run around like a maniac, and as Malak gets down to his lowest point of health, he spawns out those Axian darts, which again are a complete pain in the butt. But with the no time to explain, you can just go ahead and continually fire off at those things while you're also aiming at Malak's head. Again, something that I found that I really enjoyed when I was doing the Nightfall with the no time to explain. There goes Malak, there goes the Nightfall this week. And as far as the strike specific loot that you can end up getting, as far as I know, the only thing that you can get is the Hunter Helmet. I don't know if anything else was added to the loot pool or not, but I do know you can get that Hunter Helmet from the chest. I didn't get any exotic ingrams to drop from my three of coins. I didn't get any skeleton keys to drop off of Malak. And as far as I recall, I don't think anybody got any skeleton keys or exotic ingrams for that matter. So Malak was being just a little bit stingy to all of us on those end drop rewards. So yeah, stingy Malak. But we're not here for just his loot pool. We're also here for the Nightfall rewards. That's where hopefully we make or break our Nightfalls this week. And starting things off, we've got for Devil. He ends up getting himself some strange coins. Blaze ended up getting herself a helmet, and I got a primary weapon. 400 drops are just dropping all over the place. Thanks to the Nightfalls, thanks to the Iron Banner, thanks to the Raid, thanks to Trials. 400 drops are for real. Moving on to our second Nightfall. For our Warlock, what are we end up getting for our second character? Well, I got some three of coins. Blaze got an exotic, the Stag, and Devil Dog ended up getting some 400 gauntlets. So there's an exotic, at least the Stag. It looks cool, it might not be useful, but it does look cool. For our third and final Nightfall, we've got our Titan. We're gonna see what kind of loot we end up pulling here. At, oh, 19 strange coins. <laughs> Oh man, and Blaze got yet another exotic in Eternal Warrior. Devil ends up rocking out an emo package and a 400 ghost. So that was the Nightfall rewards this week, but we've got to see what emote Devil ended up getting. So Devil, go ahead and pop your emote. Let's see what you got. Oh Devil, you are so excited for that Nightfall. What do you think about the no time to explain? Oh, you like it. Oh, you like it, Devil. You're liking that. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, no time to explain in the nightfall, Malak goes down, we get some loot, 400 loot all around, some exotics popped, none for me. Anyway guys and gals, did you do the nightfall this week? If you enjoyed this video, smack that like button and subscribe to the channel. Check out these awesome videos, good luck with your raids, your drops, your nightfall, and I'll see you around in Destiny. Hashtag, I don't have time to explain.